following accusations of making a homophobic remark about Police Chief William McManus. A San Antonio Police Department lieutenant is fired for the sixth time. I guess I need to start showing up to work in some old fagged, parentheses, oops, ragged out gym shorts instead of official police uniform. Bear County halts funding for a program aimed at helping minority businesses compete for contracts. And where there's smoke, there's terrific chicken at Pollos Asados Don Carbon. This is a serious contender for the Pollos Asados crown here in San Antonio. I'm Chan Storlin with your express briefing for Monday, July 23rd. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. A San Antonio police lieutenant with a long history of disciplinary problems, including four firings and 11 suspensions, is in trouble again, accused of making a homophobic remark about police chief William McManus. In June, just days apart, 26-year police veteran Lieutenant Lee Racken was indefinitely suspended twice, once for using a derogatory slur on Facebook to describe a pair of shorts Chief McManus was wearing while speaking at a news conference, and again for allegedly leaving his substation before his shift was over in his personal car rather than a patrol vehicle. The following is audio when Racken spoke to internal affairs investigators in April. Really? Question mark. This is our police chief from San Antonio? Question mark. Well, I guess I need to start showing up to work in some old fagged, parentheses, oops, ragged out gym shorts instead of official police uniform, period. He sets the tone for the rest of us. Well, I do believe that uh, it's inappropriate for our commanding officer and leader of this department, such a major department, to be wearing in, uh, in public, that kind of stuff. I do believe that he should set the example and the tone by wearing a complete uniform and looking proper for people. Uh, obviously, somebody intercepted a photo or was able to capture him in that form, mm -hmm. and it's clearly inappropriate. And we are held by very high standards, uh, the rest of the department, Mm -hmm. So much so that we're disciplined for them. On the other hand, he can appear in public looking like that. Those comments are clearly, I believe, protected by my First Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. I believe they do not uh, uh, enter the realm of derogatory comments. Before speaking at a hastily arranged news conference regarding the arrest of a man in the shooting of a three-year-old, McManus donned his usual official blue shirt and tie, but wore long gym shorts instead of pants. The police chief says the shorts were a result of recently undergoing knee replacement surgery. Over Racken's career, four police chiefs have suspended him without pay or fired him for a total of 17 disciplinary actions, but four times he fought and got his job back. The 49-year-old is currently appealing his latest two indefinite suspensions that are tantamount to being fired. Following questions about the Alamo City Black Chamber of Commerce's ability to do the job, Bear County has halted funding for a program aimed at helping minority businesses compete for contracts. On June 19th, county commissioners approved $371,750 for the first year of an agreement with the chamber to achieve a goal of helping 25 African-American-owned businesses submit bids for county contracts by the end of the next fiscal year, with the program designed to teach firms how to submit requests for proposal and understand bonding, as well as other skills needed to bid on contracts. But in a letter to Chamber Chairman Eddie Kirby, County Manager David Smith says multiple stakeholders have raised questions and requested clarifications about the agreement, including inquiries about the Chamber's ability to accomplish the agreement's capacity building and vendor education goals. County staff shaped the program around a study by the University of Texas at San Antonio's Institute for Economic Development that found African-American business enterprises are vastly underrepresented in the county's contracting process. And a new restaurant brings additional competition to the local world of Pollos Asados. Greetings, folks. I am Paul Stephen, just a taste critic for the Express News Taste Team, and this week we are getting our bird on. 
I had a chance to check out the new Pollos Asados Don Carbon. This is out at 547 Calabria near the intersection of I-10. And they are a pretty solid performer, folks. Now, they do have the obligatory sizzled fajita platter and these grilled cross-cut short ribs, but really those are just taking up space that should otherwise be filled with chicken. This is a deep crimson marinade with a nice spicy crust that takes on just enough smoke. Really terrific when paired with some guacamole, some salsa, and a stack of corn tortillas that comes with each order. Now, they also had a surprise in their hamburgers. These are big, beefy, juicy patties with a nice char on the outside. They get dressed up with some familiar Mexican flavors, some chipotle salsa, some guacamole. Uh, there were some sides that were a little less inspired. Their rice was way on the salty side. Their charro beans, which were nicely seasoned with chili and bacon, could have used some of that extra salt. There's a grilled sausage, the salchicha especial, which gets topped with bacon and cheese. It was a little over the top for my taste. But all in all, Pollos Asados Don Carbon, this is a serious contender for the Pollos Asados crown here in San Antonio. To check out the rest of our reviews, visit mysa.com slash food. And that's your daily San Antonio Express News Briefing for Monday, July 23rd. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. I'm Chance Dorland.